Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to carve maxillary lateral incisor. So let's start it. So these are the things we require. So first of all, take 0.9 cm and draw square on all the sides of the block. Then similarly take 1.3 cm and draw another square on all the sides of the block. Then draw central line on all the four sides. Then after that mark the sides such as labial, distal, lingual and mesial on all the four sides of the block. Then take 5 mm on cervical line on the labial and lingual sides. Take 6.5 mm at the incisor edge on the labial and lingual sides. So join the points. It should look like a trapezoid. This will form the crown. Mark the central line on the upper surface. Then take 6 mm on the cervical line of the mesial and the distal sides. Then start making the curvatures as shown in the diagram now start marking the root on all the four sides Then mark 3 lines on the labial and the lingual sides. Then start removing the wax. From the mesial side and the distal side. Such that it should form trapezoid. So look how it. Then mark the central line again and draw the curvatures as shown in the diagram. Then from labial side start removing the wax. The crown is bit flat as compared to the central incisor. Then start removing the wax on the lingual side. Keep the cervical third area as it is and remove the wax on the other side. Start removing the edges so that the cingulum becomes prominent. Carefully remove the excess of the wax. Make the cingulum properly. It is triangular in shape. So now we will make fossa here. It is V shape. Mark with the carver v-shape and start removing the wax the fossa is very shallow as compared to the central incisors fossa which was w-shaped
carefully remove the wax its edges should be visible So now the crown part is almost ready. So let's start root now. Start from cutting the edges. It will it will be easier. Remove the wax properly. Be careful while making the root. At the tip part, it is curved, so be careful while making it. Keep excess of wax there, so it will be easier for making the tip. Make the single arm properly. It is connected to the root directly. There is no gap between the single arm and the root. It should be in a straight line. You can do clearing with the help of the carver back side Do gently and slowly Mark the cervical line as shown in that figure and then start removing the wax below it so that the cervical line looks properly and clear clearly So now we will start making the disto incisal curve. Make a curve on the disto incisal surface. The mesio incisal surface is straight as compared to the disto incisal surface of the crown. Now we will start making the tip of the root. 
look in the diagram carefully and see how it is it is curved at the distal surface so carefully make it it is very thin you can see here how it is been made then start clearing the base you can use cotton or soap water so thank you again for watching this video subscribe if you haven't yet